Know thyself. Know thy enemy. A thousand battles, a thousand victories. Move not unless you see an advantage. Use not your troops unless there is something to be gained. Fight not unless the position is critical. Let your plans be dark and impenetrable as the night, and when you move, fall like a thunderbolt. In the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. All warfare is based on deception. Hence, when we are able to attack, we must seem unable. When using our forces, we must appear inactive. When we are near, we must make the enemy believe we are far away. When far away, we must make him believe we are near. Victorious warriors win first and then go to war. While defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. Build your opponent a golden bridge to retreat across. When the enemy is relaxed, make them toil. When full, starve them. When settled, make them move. One may know how to conquer without being able to do it. Do not repeat the tactics which have gained you one victory, but let your methods be regulated by the infinite variety of circumstances. Move as swift as the wind and as closely formed as the wood. Attack like the fire and be still as the mountain. The expert in battle moves the enemy and is not moved by him. Strategy without tactics is the slowest route to victory. Tactics without strategy is the noise before defeat. Engage people with what they expect. It is what they are able to discern and confirms their projections. It settles them into predictable patterns of response, occupying their minds while you wait for the extraordinary moment, that which they cannot anticipate. The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. Be extremely subtle, even to the point of formlessness. Be extremely mysterious, even to the point of soundlessness. Thereby, you can be the director of the opponent's fate. If he sends reinforcements everywhere, he will everywhere be weak. Rouse him and learn the principle of his activity or inactivity. Force him to reveal himself so as to find out his vulnerable spots. The opportunity to secure ourselves against defeat lies in our own hands. But the opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. Bravery without forethought causes a man to fight blindly and desperately, like a mad bull. Such an opponent must not be encountered with brute force, but may be lured into an ambush and slain. 